Hello and welcome to Thaik. I am Muhammad Adnan and in this video we are going to discuss about row, query and filter context in Power BI. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. Context is really an important thing understanding the formula and how it works context enable you to perform dynamic analysis in which the result of a formula can change to reflect the current row or cell selection and also any related data understanding context and using context effectively are very important for building high performing formula dynamic analysis and for troubleshooting problems in formulas there are three types of context one is the row context query context and filter context if you want to understand in short, the row context is just the calculated column like sales amount and sales amount into tax on the same table or else the sales amount plus sales amount into related reason to get the tax value from another table with the help of a relationship. This is a row context. Query context is a pivot table. If you apply a pivot table and then you can slice and dice and filter for this visual and the effect is automatically generated by the power bi it is a query context whereas the filter context is applied on top of about two query and row context in simple language we can say that the context is the environment under which the formula is evaluated you can think of a evaluation context for a formula as the surrounding area of a cell where dax evaluates the formula if you didn't understand clearly then don't worry we will look into practical let's go one by one i have this sales table in the last i have added a column here one is the amount column here and one is the tax column here so amount with tax i have written a measure here i mean calculated column sheet 2 amount plus sheet 2 amount into sheet 2 into tax divided by 100 that is 5 percent value so it gives me the result here so total amount is 39.5 50 50 in 5 is 41 48 02. So 29850 is 31 342. So this amount with tax is just a small calculation. Power BI will calculate this for each and every row. As I said earlier, context is an environment of the cell. So this amount with tax column is calculated based on the amount and then tax. Like this, each and every cell in this column makes a calculation of amount and then the tax. The row context for each cell will have the data of all the columns on that particular row. As you are writing it the DAX function to get only the amount plus the tax. But actually in the memory it gives all the column information of that particular row. If the table is not on the same one, one column is in this table and another is on another table based on relationship. I mean, if the formula is like that, that this is in one table and the tax is on another table, then this row context will store all the column information of this table and all the column information of another table. Now, the next one is the row context. I have made a pivot table here, stating that the sales product category and the purchase amount and then the sales amount. The first column is usual. I have just tracked the sales amount here. And then if you click on this icon, it gives you the sum of value here. And amount explicit, I have made a calculated measure here. Let's have a look at this measure. Amount explicit, sum of sales amount. There's nothing new on that. I just made this calculation here. I have made a video about explicit and implicit measure. If you haven't seen that, just click on the link given on top of your screen. Now coming back to this one, the query context. So we have not made any calculation based on the product category for the sales amount. The Power BI automatically creates this one for us on the go. So if you apply any filter on this here, like product Canon, it just gives you a Canon and Nikon. Or if you want to use only the auto type like sales and purchase alone, this kind of filtration slice and dice and then the amount calculation is all done by the power bid itself during the query generation. This is called the query context. The next one is the filter context. 
filter context is applied on top of row and then the query context right yeah so um, based on that i have written a formula here so r she measure it is sum of x this filter she she to that is a sales product category equal to audi and then the sales amount what will happen is uh, i just made a filter of product category as an audi alone for the purchase and the sales when i apply this formula in the query context it just gives me this result that there's a purchase amount and there is the filtered context if i apply filter on this slice area nikon it will not give me any of those here because the filter is already applied on the formula as an audi filter context is added when you specify filter constraint on a set of values allowed in a column or a table by using arguments to a formula all the filter related functions available in the dax is comes under the filter function just as you can have a look at those i made a video about all all except for dax function if you haven't seen then just click on the link given on top of your screen so it is in short row control is just calculated formula query control is the pivot table result and filter control is applied the filter on both of them above i hope you got a very fair idea about the what is the row query and filter context in power bi context is nothing but the environment of the cell if you like this video just click on the big thumbs up button if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications but make sure you turn on the notification on your devices share it with your friends and colleagues if you have any queries and feedback just post it on the comment section below thanks for watching keep learning see you in the next video